We've been talking about how the St. John's Bridge is closed right now, and our Tim Becker is standing by at the bridge with more information on that. Tim? Yeah, I'm with Nancy Peely. She's one of the, would you call yourself a protester? Are you in a, helping what was going on? I'm a helper and I'm an activist and okay. I was part of today's actions. And Nancy Peely is one of the one of the people that they just pulled off of the bridge here within the last hour when they closed it. And we're going to back up to square one because we haven't been able to go out there on the bridge. But right off the top, Nancy, tell us what you were doing out there and then how really the last 30 minutes unfolded with police coming out and removing you. I was one of the anchor supports for the 13 climbers who have rappelled down from the St. John's Bridge. Um, they've been there for over 30 hours and um, this morning we're, and yesterday we're also successfully able to block Shell's boat from leaving the port here in Portland and heading to the Arctic. And so the boat is carrying some very important um, equipment that is going to begin the process of drilling in the Arctic and so without this essential component that's here in Portland, they cannot continue. And so there was a stance made here in Portland today that I'm very proud to be a part of, where the people said shell no. Okay, the people said shell no, and then the police came in and stopped at least sure, the people sure, on the so bridge that. from saying that. When did that happen? How long ago? And, and how were they able to get you out? Did they, did they just ask you to leave? Did they tell yeah. you you were breaking the law? What was the situation? About 10 minutes ago, some of us were handcuffed and other ones of us were escorted off the bridge by officers. Um, and there are still 13 activists who are uh, repelling from the bottom of the bridge. Um, and so they are still blocking the um, boat as we are here. So if anybody's out there listening, we would love it if people could come out in their kayaks and be a part of it and check it out, be out in the water and see what's happening. 13, now were there more? I can't remember the exact number of people that were there, but, but now there's 13. There's been 13 people that have repelled from the bottom. There was um, another 15 that were on top of the bridge uh, doing support. Okay. And are the police saying specifically what law is being broken, why they're putting you in handcuffs? Um, they said that everybody who was on the bridge was um, subject to arrest and that we had to um, either be arrested or be escorted off. And everybody's come off the bridge now? I believe all of the support team has been taken off of the bridge by the police and there are still 13 activists who are um, repelling down or have repelled down from the bridge and are um, holding traffic underneath the bridge. Uh, and okay, so what is your next move and, and the people that have just been pulled off the bridge and, and what do you know about this boat maybe trying to make another run at it? So I know that the boat is um, carrying a bit of equipment that is necessary for drilling in the Arctic. I know that um, Shell has had an accident you know um, think, where they um, ran into some shoal up in the Arctic and so they needed to replace something. And we feel like that just shows that their record um, speaks for itself and their record is one of environmental degradation. They're, they're cleaning up a lot of spills. Luckily for Portland today, the only spill they're cleaning up is a PR spill. Okay, so your next move? You're going to go home? Are you going to watch this on, on TV, on Channel 6? What, what do you do? Our next move is to do whatever we can to stop the drilling in the Arctic, um, to defend the land and life of the people, and to use this, this action, as well as many other actions that are being taken worldwide, to send a message to Obama saying that he needs to stand on the side of the people, not on the side of the corporations, and that we need to prioritize the environment and the land for our future generations over greed and over corporate money. All right, Nancy Peely, thank you very much for your time and filling us in on the situation. Thank you guys for being out here in the sunshine. And thanks to everybody that came out in the kayaks and helped us hold the line. It is, it is a warm day out here. We wanted to just fill you in and let you know exactly what has happened here, really within the last 10 or 15 minutes, as you heard uh, Nancy say. We're going to be on the scene, of course, all afternoon and, and continue to follow things from up here and let you know uh, when something new does develop. For now, though, we'll toss it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Tim, there is a quick question here. Uh, there were reports that the mayor yeah, was yeah. up there on the bridge. Have you seen the mayor at all, Mayor Hales? I haven't seen the mayor at all. We're just on the one end here. There's a lot of police officers. There's a few people standing around. And when we first arrived, Nancy and some of her fellow uh, protesters were off to the side here. Some were being written up. No sign of the mayor, though. I'll keep an eye out for him, though, now that you mentioned that. All right, Tim, thank you. That's the view now from up on top of the St. John's Bridge, which has now been shut down. So from up on top of the bridge to down below on the shore.